I was very aware of Marina Abramovic's work and um, one day working in the studio the words the Aborigine is present popped into my mind. So I worked out how that could work with an Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal community and that's when I wrote to uh, Marina Abramovic and asked her permission. And I didn't hear back from her for three weeks and I thought she's probably pretty busy, I'll write again. And bingo, she wrote back the next day. And in fact, she said um, that she had lived in Central Desert with Aboriginal people for some six months with her partner at the time, Ole, and uh, she was happy to give back to community, so to go ahead with this work with her blessing. For an Aboriginal person to simply hold the gaze of a non-Aboriginal person for up to five minutes, people have ex explored this territory and said they've found it unexpectedly powerful really important, amazing. Some people have been moved to tears and other people it's not had much of that in impact on. So it depends what the person brings. So every person brings whatever they bring. So I can't predict what will happen. So the person who comes with a, a head, heart, mind, soul that can drop their own thought so that the mind isn't chattering away and can be present in the here and now, they're going to lose a sense of time in that, in that process. Without the mind chattering away, people have space for other realities, other consciousnesses, other ways of seeing, other ways of hearing to surface. So rather than living in a political do domain, I'm interested in someone's consciousness changing. And the nature of thought is to be rational, to bundle things in nice little tidy boxes. That's the job of the mind, to make sense of chaos. Whereas intuition is making sense of something else. It's making sense of something on a much grander, much greater, more expansive level. I had a wonderful experience last Sunday in sitting with the Aborigines present and a little boy who was only about eight wanted to sit. And he'd gone to sit down and his mum had taken him away and said, no, no, this is sort of for adults. And they'd gone out to the front of the building and had a bit of a conference and he clearly won and came back and wanted to sit. So I sat with him and he sat, he was only about eight, he sat for five minutes fully engaged and totally going into the zone and he got it. He was such a poetic little soul. It is possible that we can come together and heal. Certainly Australia needs a lot of healing and whether that's those who have colonised or those who have been colonised, at the end of the day the children of those families all need to heal that rupture, that disruption, that, that trauma to come towards a healthy and um, creative environment for the betterment of the generations of children that follow. I think it's a very significant question, why make art? And it's one of the few things that actually outlives cultures. So we have many cultures that have come and gone, but we still have their art we still often have their music. So the Aborigine is present is about the potential of Australia when the two knowledge systems of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people and non-Aboriginal people come together.